What's up, y'all? Welcome to Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews. I'm Eric, and welcome to the Five Whiskey Challenge 2022 edition. I want to thank Alan, the whiskey friend, for sending me the challenge invitation. I'm graciously accepting, and I want to pass it on to Whiskey Nose. K-N-O-W-S, Whiskey Nose. If you are not a subscriber to either of those channels, I highly recommend you go check them out. Okay, so uh, the Five Whiskey Challenge of 2022 is basically the following. Um... Whiskey tubers have been posed with picking out five whiskeys, one for each of the following categories. Uh, Go-to daily drinker, Friday night dram, uh, mixer, special occasion, and impress your guests. So um, I have combed through the Malt Muser den here and found uh, some whiskeys I think will uh, fit the bill perfectly here. So let's get right on into them. Okay, so the first one, is go-to daily drinker. Obviously, there are a lot of whiskeys that could fall into this category, but I, I have to say, when I think about over the past couple of years, which is the one that I go to the most, is this. Glen Goyne, 12 years old. Um, it's bottled at 43%. A lot of sherry. Really, really rich whiskey for a 12-year-old. Um, filled with a lot of nice, subtle fruit notes. It's got some kind of bold, assertive, cast driven notes it's got some nice toffee long finish in it honestly it's just a really great relaxed yet bold whiskey which is usually kind of what i want when i reach for a scotch um they're only like 45 to 55 dollars so really good price on those um yeah i i i go through that one i think more than any uh so glen going 12 will be the uh the winner of the daily drinker here for this challenge okay so the next is a friday night dram so the way I'm thinking about this is, you know, usually on a Friday night, I'm going to want to have uh, a couple drams. So I don't want to choose anything that's too high ABV. I don't want to choose anything that's overly peated because it's or overly heavy sherry because it's really just going to destroy my palate and I won't enjoy the whiskeys afterwards. So the one that I'm going to choose here is bottled at 46%. It's a Highland whiskey, non-chill filtered, natural color. It's a nice one. Glen Caddam 21. I think this meets the mark for a Friday whiskey, something a little bit more top shelf yet isn't going to uh, really overpower with big blanket flavors. It's got a lot of subtlety, yet it's got character. 46% is giving you a nice little uh, pep in your step. Um, all in all, a really great whiskey, pretty affordable too for a 21 years old. Um, I think it's a nice whiskey to start the night with or even end a night with really. Um, it's going to kind of just give you everything you want in a nice glass of scotch without pulling you too far in one heavy flavor direction or not. So yeah, uh, when I'm thinking about getting off work and having a nice relaxed scotch to get the night going, Glen Cabin 21, can't go wrong. All right, which brings us to Mixer. So this one is a little bit difficult. Um, I think uh, for me personally, I tend to make cocktails primarily with bourbon or rye whiskey. Um, so I'm actually just gonna share a uh the bourbon and rye but i but i think the one i'm going to choose for a single malt um i will share as well and that is really it's just the glenmore gx this came out i think like a year and a half ago it's bottled at 40 percent um now age statement anything like that they say it's made for mixing so you know literally uh i think it actually i bought it pretty skeptical and was pretty surprised it's got a good flavor it's pretty robust so even at that 40 percent you're still going to know it's there, but it's not going to be so high ABV that it's kind of drowning out your imbalance of your cocktail. I think it actually stands up really well for a lot of uh, scotch drinks. It's a nice single malt too. So price is like $25 to $35. I mean, come on, you can't go wrong. Um, the other one that I would potentially choose a little higher ABV, it's the Huddy Sark Blended Scotch Prohibition Edition at 50%. Um, but as for like bourbon, you know, come on, there's there's only one choice for me on that. Evan Williams, Bottled and Bond. So why this? First of all, 50% ABV. So you're kicking up your bourbon cocktails with that. It's got some spice to it. It's also heavy. So it's got a lot of richness to it. Um, it's a no frills whiskey that I think you can sip neat as well as put in a mixer, but I, it's really just perfect for mixing in my opinion. And the price is like anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars, maybe a little bit more than twenty in some places, which is just an absolute steal for something of this quality. So, like, I really can't stress enough. Evan Williams, bottled in bond, hundred proof, fifty percent ABV. I'll choose that for the bourbon. 
As for the rye, that one I think is actually really, really tough. But if I had to choose one that I think is just good for a cocktail, Sazerac rye. Uh, it's just got a very unique flavor um, to complement that rye spice. I think it's what, 45% ABV? Yep. So it's not overly strong. Uh, it's not going to kind of overpower your drink, but it's definitely going to give it the backbone you want. And again, it's just pretty quality made, made uh, rye whiskey. They're like 25 bucks. Um, you know, their presentation's nice, but it's the juice that counts. So yeah, I'll go with the Sazerac for the rye. Okay. So moving on from mixer mixers. Special occasion dram. So I'm thinking about special occasion in the sense of, you know, celebrating a celebrating something big in life, celebrating for somebody else, maybe a whiskey friend, something good happening to them. What whiskey am I going to bring out for this special occasion? This is the one I'm going to bring out. Una Haben, 25 years old. I mean, what is what can be said about this? 46.3%. It's a huge whiskey, ton of flavor. Um, it's got a, that signature kind of Buna Haven character. So it's got some character and nuance to it. Um, it is not completely cast driven or anything. 46.3% non-chill filtered natural color. Um, really, really expensive stuff, but some of the best whiskey I think I've probably ever had. Um, definitely up there in that top tier. So look, I mean, if I need a special dram and I want to pour it out for some for myself or some folks, man, I, you cannot go wrong with the Buna 25. So I'm going to use that as my... Special occasion, Graham. Finally, whiskey to impress your guests. So this is a funny one. So here's the scenario I was thinking about. So on the one hand, it could be your whiskey drinking pals, um, or it could just really be some folks you're trying to turn on to whiskey and and maybe they've had some experiences with whiskey and and oh it's too harsh or oh this or oh that and uh, you know give all these dismissive remarks to make about it, but they maybe have a little curiosity too. There's one whiskey I think is going to impress pretty much anybody, no matter what your experience with whiskey. The one I'm going to bust out is the Cavalan Vinho Barrique. So uh, this is a cat strength whiskey at 57.1% ABV. Uh, so it's definitely no slouch and uh, it's going to, going to leave an impression on anybody that drinks it. But like most Cavalans, their casks are just simply fantastic. This for a whiskey with no age statement, I think, you know, if you look at the code, it's maybe around five to six years old, uh, is remarkably rounded, full flavored. Uh, in this case, the wine barriques really just turn this into an almost like wine first whiskey. Um, the flavor is incredible. It's going to really charm anybody that has it. And uh, it's a whiskey that I think anybody that I've ever had try it was as impressed as I was. It's just as how rich, how full, how deceptively elegant it is. And also just the amount of cast maturation. Plus, you get a great story with it. You can tell them about this one distillery over in Taiwan. And you can tell them about casks and how there's are young aged whiskeys and how the uh, 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 the tropical climate brings more to it. So like, there's a lot to talk about with the Cavalan. Cavalan Vinho Barrique. I mean, there's nobody who's going to walk away not impressed with that. All right. So there you have it. That's the uh, five whiskey challenge. Again, I want to give a shout out to Alan, the whiskey friend, and send this challenge on over to Whiskey Nose. Cheers, y'all.